well, a couple things. I've talked about the book before, but there's a, a book called Power Versus Force by Dr. David Hawkins. It's a great book. And a lot of people would call it a woo-woo kind of approach to things, but it's also validated entirely by quantum mechanics and physics. It's, we are energy. <laughs> we, are, we are vibration. And when you look at how things are sold in the marketplace, we see lots of pressure, right? There's lots of false scarcity, lots of false urgency, lots of tricks and hacks and clickbaity you know, things that kind of force people into buying, which is the worst way to do it because as soon as they buy, they regret that they bought it. That's why there's this thing called buyer's remorse. When you come from a place of power, um, part of that is you're actually empowering other people to decide for themselves that they are going to do a thing, right? But I, I have very, very low turnover or levels of customer dissatisfaction because I don't ever, I never sell you anything. Like you only get to buy from me if you ask me for the link to buy. And if you ask me for the link to buy and you buy, that's your decision. You can decide later that you're unhappy, but you're not getting your money back because I didn't sell you anything. You sold yourself the thing. And I am fully committed to helping you get the result that I said I would help you get. And that your success really depends on your commitment and effort. It doesn't depend on, because I know my thing works, because it's never not worked for anybody that's actually done the work. So when you are coming from that place of empowerment and power and not using force, and when you are fully, fully believe in what you do and are committed to doing it and are, and are discerning and discriminate about who you do it with, like what you do and who you do it with, which means you're also discriminating about who you, what you don't do and what you, who you don't do it with. You again are setting yourself up for that inevitable success because if you're doing the right thing based on things that are true and are authentically and, and powerfully committed to the change that you can help people make vibrationally, it's, it's, very attractive and it takes more time like if you want to make some money right now get really good at facebook ads get really good at creating urgency and scarcity get really like you will sell things if you look at like all like look back at the history of digital marketing and, and some of the people that succeeded very early on like go back to facebook ads from um 2019 2016 and see how many of those people are still around. Like Laurel is, and Laurel will be, because she's operating from philosophy and principles. Now, I'm not saying that Facebook ads is the tactic or tool that anybody should use or the strategy anybody should use, but should you choose to use that strategy, she will help you do that in a way that will help you get the results that you want. But I am proof, Kat, that you can operate pretty much exclusively from philosophy and principles and make a very good living doing work that you really love with people you really care about. Did it take time? It sure as shit did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was totally worth it because I have like no regrets about, and I have no dissonance about who I am and what I do and uh, how I spend my time and, and what it's all for. So I think one of the things for everyone to kind of think about it as you're like, how can you put yourself in a position to play that longer game? Cause it does take more time. That's why I'm a big fan of like, like don't quit your day job. Like if you've got work that you do that doesn't suck the soul out of your body and leaves you some, some time to do the work that you want to do, do that. I, that's exactly what I did as a coach in Seth's programs is I had for five years in Akimbo as a head coach and I worked for um, a few years more directly with Seth on other things. Made a very good living doing that and it gave me plenty of time to do, to build a business that I actually like and am proud of. Do I wish I could have quit my music career and gone right into coaching full time? Sure. That wouldn't have happened and if, it, if I had done that 
urgency and scarcity in my own life would have forced me to do a lot of things I d didn't want to do. So when we're talking about your vision of your ideal lifestyle and the path that's going to get there, there's many ways that you can achieve the, I, your ideal lifestyle. And as you are traveling the path, the path emerges and it may very well be that what you do and why you do it changes over time. The destination that you've set at the beginning is not necessarily where you're going to get if you are paying attention and leveraging the obstacles and opportunities that you could not have foreseen when you started, but you'll end up where you are meant to be. In my estimation, I'm a big believer in destiny and vocation, and you will get there and you will actually enjoy every step of the journey doesn't mean i mean doesn't mean that there won't be hardships but because there will be but you will actually look forward to those as opportunities to practice virtues like patience humility acceptance <laughs> consideration and all the other things all right so i successfully ended with a uh, with a rant I hope that this was, it sounds like this was a helpful workshop for everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in comments on Substack uh, when this gets, uh, so this replay will not be publicly available. It will be available exclusively to you all that are members of the Catalyst Club community. And I'm happy to continue the conversation once that gets published. I'll, I'll get it out there as soon as I can and you'll get a notification when it's ready. All right, gang, enjoy the rest of your weekend and appreciate the gift of your time and attention.